Friday's big NCAA tournament game, many are looking for ways to get in the red and white spirit. NBC 15 Zach Nugent joins us to explain. Yeah, Lee, when the Badgers do well, it doesn't just excite fans, but area businesses too. From clothes to food, there's no shortage of ways to get your red and white fix. From t-shirt sellers. It's awesome. To bakers. Well, obviously we paint the cupcakes in red and white. To local drink makers. Every time the Badgers do well, we just get busy. Businesses are cashing in on March Madness. Of course, bars along State Street are prepping for a busy weekend. The owner of State Street Brats tells us he's seen thousands crowd outside his business in years past. This is ground zero for anything that happens with the Badgers. We gear up and we hope for the best, um, you know, plan for the worst, hope for the best and go from there. At Gigi's Cupcakes, the focus is quickly turning from St. Patrick's Day green to Badgers red and white. The upcoming tourney providing a nice bump in sales before the busy graduation season. Definitely brings in a good amount just having people kind of out and about and watching the games and different um, aspects there. So we definitely want to make sure we have things that will um, appeal to different team uh, lovers of all sorts, not just Badger 2, but we love our Badgers. And of course, those championship shirts are a hot item. The University Bookstore had to place an extra order already thanks in part to online sales. This shirt, I actually sold out of my first batch just on the website and had to do another one right this morning. Now all three businesses I spoke with, they agree it's busy now, but the deeper the Badgers make it into the tourney, the busier their businesses typically get.